Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the... Today we'll be upgrading our Citadel paints. You need the paint itself, some medium to help the paint flow, a new bottle, I've got 15 milliliter ones, a palette, a pipette, some clippers and some more bearings. It's also handy to have a cocktail stick or two and an old brush and also some kitchen towel on standby just in case there's any spills. I'll also be adding some high grade stainless steel ball bearings to each pot to help agitate and mix the paint more thoroughly. I add two balls to each and a few drops of paint thinner. I've used Games Workshop's Lamian Medium just because I have it and I don't use it very often. This certainly isn't the most cost effective way to do this and the Citadel bases are very thick and may need more thinner than other paints in their range. I give the paint a shake just to mix it up to help it flow into the new pot. I'm using the palette here to help contain the mess just in case I knock the pot over or there's any overspill. I clip the back of the lid off. This will just make it a lot easier to pour. Now you could use a funnel uh, but I'm a maverick. I've elected not to do so. And you can actually get 3D printed ones, but I don't have access to a 3D printer. Here you can see I'm coaxing the paint out into its new home using an old brush. And the palette's also very handy to hold the uh, lid upside down. And I normally use this to help retrieve the ball bearings because the pot is actually curved on the inside. Just turn it upside down on top of the lid and the ball bearings fall out. I've also got a cocktail stick here. If the neck of the bottle gets sealed, you can actually use that to create an air bubble and it'll help the paint flow. Otherwise physics will prevent it from uh, running down into the bottle. And I'm just agitating the rest of the paint out of there. There's always a little bit of waste, but I'm trying to minimize that as much as possible. And then I just dip the top of the paint pot nozzle, the paint cap, into the paint. And this just helps when you've got all the paints lined up, you can identify them from above quite easily. Insert the nozzle and then the cap. Give it a quick shake. Very satisfying rattle. And then the final step is to remove the label from the old pot onto the new one. I'm just going to do this using a hobby knife. You could peel it off with your fingers, but it will ruin the edge and it will probably fray over time. And then doing it this way just helps alleviate that. There we go, Citadel paints improved. And here's a lovely selection of some paints I've already transferred. This video is requested. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see. 